everyone, it's Dr. Charlotte Hodges. And today I wanna to show you a quick little fish recipe. Um, earlier this afternoon, I made a lentil and kielbasa salad, minus the kielbasa, with Margie. And I'm actually going to make the main course right now. So let's dive in. Um, I really like fish. I really like to go to a fishmonger. Sometimes if I could just go to a regular old grocery store, the fish doesn't taste as fresh. However, go wherever you'd like. My favorite fish is actually red snapper. I don't like to eat the skin. My husband loves the skin. So I always make sure that the fillets that I get will have skin on them. And whenever you're making fish, you can season it in a variety of different ways. They have tons of different rubs that are out there. You can do a lemon pepper. You can just use garlic and rosemary. Um, I like blackened, but sometimes if you're doing a true blackened um, fish, you're adding in a lot of butter and a lot of oil. And for this particular recipe, I really don't want all that heavy fat. However, I am going to use some of those same spices. And I'm just using, for me, just a pre-packaged rub um, for my fish. Now, whenever you're getting started with your fish, um, I like to set my oven, because I'm just gonna bake it, I'm not gonna do it on the grill. I just set my oven to 400 degrees. Yeah. So, one little helpful tip that I have is to make sure that the fish doesn't curl up in the pan that you're using to cook on. Um, if you actually score the skin um, in several little slits, it will, number one, it can absorb some of the um, juices and some of the flavorings a little bit better, but also by scoring it, your fish just won't end up curling. So what you wanna do is just cut through the skin and make several little scores on the skin. And then actually, once you end up putting your fish in, you'll wanna put them skin side down. That will also help make it a little bit crispy. So the next thing that I will do is I'm gonna add all my rubs. So whenever I'm adding one of my rubs, what I first like to do is add in a little bit of olive oil just to both sides of the fish. And it kind of helps some of these herbs um, adhere a little bit more to the fish. And I just sprinkle them on, rub her in. And again, you can use any type of rub. There are just a million and one different recipes if you want to make your own that are on the internet. Um, however, when I was at the grocery store, I actually saw this little um, rub and it looked good. Actually, I just kind of like the packaging. <laughs> That's actually why I, I tried it, especially whenever it said blackened, because I, ooh, I love a nice blackened fish. And of course, if you're using a spicier rub, the more um, rub that you use, the spicier your fish will be. Um, the less that you use, of course, the less spicy it will be. So once you get your rub on your fish, you'll want to take a greased, um, pan. Now, so I've read sometimes that people will put a piece of foil down. I'm not going to use that. I just used an olive oil spray and sprayed my pan. And then I'm going to place my fish skin side down. And then I've also cut up uh, several little lemons. And I'm just going to put those on top of the fish. So it looks like this. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna pop this into my preheated oven and cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so my fish is cooking in the oven. My lentil salad is kind of cooling a little bit on the um, table. And now I wanna have one more nice little side. My husband loves this. So I thought that this would be a, a nice little add-on to our dinner. And again, um, this is nice and vegetarian. I don't think it would be vegan though because it's made out of flour and egg and I don't think you can have all that stuff whenever you're vegan. But anyway, what I want to do is just make some little toasts um, and then add a little bit of goat cheese on them. So the first thing I want to do is just slice up my French bread and then I will put it on my cookie sheet. And because I'm kind of lazy, what I actually will do is I have this olive oil cooking spray. So you just take your little P3 
pieces, put them on the sheet. And then you just take your spray and then I just lightly spray them. It gives them a little bit of a taste, makes them a little bit of, um, gives them a little bit of a golden color too whenever they come out of the oven. Once these are done, um, I'll have a little bit of goat cheese on the side. So part of our dinner, you'll have the, the little toastettes with a little bit of goat cheese, your side, and then your fish. Mm, I can't wait. All right, now my little toastettes are done. I'm just gonna put them in a little bowl and I'll be bringing these to the table. Collins and Marjorie are already sitting down at the dinner table. I have my fish, um, it would, had been cooking at 400 degrees. I actually ended up having to cook it a little bit longer. It was a much bigger um, filet and it actually cooked um, for about 25 to 30 minutes, not just 15. So let me put this filet on the plate for Collins and um, bon appetit.